What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how to literally change the game in Sons of the Forest using Unity Explorer. Unity Explorer is an in-game tool used to view and edit the content within your game. To get a better idea of what Unity Explorer can do, you can check out some of my other videos in the description below. All of the links shown in this video will also be in the description so you don't need to hunt them down. Let's do it. First, begin by heading over to the .NET install page. Make sure to only select the 6.0 version, as having any other version, including 7.0, would be incompatible. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Let's open that .NET installer and simply install it. Once installed, we can head over to the Melon Loader install page. Make sure you select this link to download the installer. Let's open the Melon Loader installer. There are a lot of options here, so pay close attention to what options are needed for this to work. In the settings tab, make sure to select the option that says show alpha pre-releases. In the automated tab, unselect the option to use the latest version and choose version 0.6.0 in the drop-down tab. Select the Sons of the Forest game by navigating to your game directory, typically found in the directory above. Press the install button. You can use this tool to uninstall Melon Loader if you have any issues later on. Next, we need to grab a modified version of Zero Harmony, which is a file used in Melon Loader. Once downloaded, we need to move it into the Net6 folder in our game directory. The easiest way to get there is to head over to Steam and right-click on the game and hover over Manage and choose Browse Local Files. Once the game directory is open, navigate to the Melon Loader folder and into the Net6 folder. Drag the new version of Zero Harmony into this folder, replacing the old one. Minimize this folder because we're going to be coming back to add Unity Explorer in just a bit. It is important that we launch the game so that Melon Loader adds any files it needs to run. We'll do this step now. When you see the main menu, you can close the game. Head over to the Unity Explorer download page and download this file here. Open the file and make note of the two folders you see. Simply drag and drop these folders into your game directory. And that's it. You've just installed Unity Explorer. Let's take a quick look at how you can start playing with this right now.